Oiki, oiki. It's Vlogmas Day 11. So today is Caramel Sleeve and I wanted to do something different and I decided that we are going to do my morning routine. So first of all it starts off with me waking up after about 10 different alarms going off. Yeah I'm that girl. Every two minutes, every ten minutes, it's an alarm going off. Because I'm not going to wake up from the first one. Now, probably, if I knew I only had one alarm set, I would probably wake up. But since I know I have like six or seven or ten, I just wait until the last one to wake up. I know it's not, it's not a good thing to do, but I'm going to work on it. So yeah, this isn't going to be too long, but I'm going to go ahead and get up. So, rise and shine. Ooh. Mm. Come on, light in where the light at. There it go. Ooh, y'all not seen the sneak preview. Okay, so what I'm going to do, my bathroom is in my room, but it's dirty because I'm still doing my hair and everything. Alright, so... I know this angle is weird, but the first thing I like to do is brush my teeth. So everybody always want to know, what how, what do you do to keep your teeth so white? I'm going to do a video all on that. All on that. Just for y'all so y'all can know what I do to keep my teeth white. And it's very simple. But today, I'll let y'all know what toothpaste I use, which is the Arm & Hammer. Peroxide Care. Yep, y'all see that? Arm and Hammer. Peroxide Care. Deep Clean. Got baking soda and peroxide. Healthy gums and neutralizes acid. Clean me. Wet my brush. Put my toothpaste on there. Like that right there. Mm, you see that? Boom. And then we're just gonna brush our teeth. After you rinse, after you rinse, you see it, that's what we do. All white teeth tings, you know what I'm saying? So next, oh sorry y'all, I'm not in the frame. So next, we gonna get this good old crust out of our eye. And then we gonna wash our face. Look at these bags, honey, I be sleepy. So what I like to do, or what I wash my wash my face with, is some African black soap. And this is the Shea Moisture one, but I prefer. I like this one, and I like the Ambi one. And I just rub it in my hands with a little bit of water. And then we. And rub it in the skin. What I really want and what I should have asked for Christmas, even though we too grown to be getting Christmas gifts, is a spin brush. And they got a good one on Amazon. I, I just don't want to pay thirty dollars for it, but I'm gonna have to. Am I the only one who don't like some like my? I don't like stuff like water in my eyes or anything of the like 
So am I the only one when I wash my face, I be like doing all this going around my eyes instead of sometimes, you know, when I'm really into it, I'll do like this right here. But I be so scared when I open my eyes, it's going to be soap in there, which is one reason why I don't really wash my face in the shower. I wash my face before I get in the shower like I'm doing right now. I do this and then I get in the shower with the soap on and rinse it off. But I'm not a fan of just dunking my whole head on the water. My mama do that. And I always be wondering like, Ma, why your shower cap always wet? And she be like, cause I wash my face. And I be like, I wash mine too, but my shower cap be dry. Like, I be trying to like get around that hairline. I ain't trying to, you know, the shower cap ain't vacuum sealed. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to mess up my hair. And I'm also not trying to get no water in my eyes. Okay? Am I the only one? Let me know in the comments if you wash your face. Do you dunk it under water? Or do you avoid the edges in the shower cap? Let me know. Then I take me a nice little rag. But like I said, I ain't, I ain't trying to dunk my head under the water. Sometimes I do it because you know that, that gives you a thorough clean. Sometimes I dunk my head under the water to rinse it off. Because it gives you a thorough clean. But sometimes I just... Get that rag and wipe off everywhere. And I am um, the culprit. I did not wash my face good last night. I think I just took my makeup off with a little makeup wipe, which is why all this makeup is coming off on this little rag. Now we nice and clean. Ping. All right. So now that we nice and clean, that's pretty much my whole, my whole routine, baby. So guys, usually after I wash my face, I get in the shower, put on some clothes, make sure we lotion up, put on deodorant and some smell good spray. And then I cook me some breakfast. But now I am going to do this because I always do this and I can't just not do this because it has kind of become, it's become a little bit of a tradition. <laughs> Uh, for me to do a reaction to my goals from last year and my goals for the new year. Oh, come on, Puff! It is Vlogmas Day 10. A merry little Christmas k by the birthday 100k shoot high you know goals are goals i'm pretty sure i had 50k by my birthday this year and 100k by the end of the year we still got time baby we at 88 i think something like that but let's get it let's get it you already know i'm so excited we're going to reach them um, I want to put out more quality content instead of quantity, so this We're working on that. I gotta be consistent with bomb quality, okay? We're working on it. I worked on my consistency and uploading like three times a week. I'm thinking about going down to two times a week. Just Pew, all the way down to one. So I can give you guys better quality videos better edits all of that um because that's something that i'm interested in as well so let me know what um post schedule you guys like i used to do monday wednesday friday do y'all think i should do monday saturday monday friday um let me know in the comments what you guys think currently i upload usually thursdays at like 
1 30 12 30 something like that let me know if a different day works for y'all in the comments in time outside of my content and stuff like that i hope to get more into graphic design because that's something that i've learned that i really love to do um so yeah hopefully i can purchase you know a tablet so i could do some that's my christmas gift that i want to get for me but i ain't got the coin right now but fix you know with a little pen or apple pencil whatever it's called stencil no um st with a stylist um and so i can do some more work with that um i purchased my big camera and i'm super excited about that and i'm uh, after sunday i need a new computer but Oh, no computer. Purchases. I look forward to um, in 2019. Of course, along with that, I look forward to some big, 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 big checks. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I can pay for it. Um, you know, I'm excited for increase. Amen. I'm excited for new relationships. I love you. Um, I'm excited <laughs> to meet new people and travel to places. I ain't met nobody new. So, you know. <laughs> 2019 was good. Like, I'm, I'm coming for you. I'm ready for you, sis. So, 2020 was good. I think that wraps up this video. I need to go because it's 8.43. I need 2020 was good. That's so funny. I think it's so cool to sit back and rewatch, like, my goals videos from previous the previous year because it's so... it Time flies so quickly, but it's so much that... You don't even realize like where your mindset was back then. And it's crazy that I was talking about like wanting to be interested in graphic design and purchasing my tablet. Like I thought that was a new idea in my head where I wanted to get a tablet for Christmas. Not realizing that it was placed on my heart last year to want to invest in that because I wanted to be better at graphic design. And this year I created um, my first logo after a long, 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 long trial and tribulation but i made it without the tablet and it's just so crazy to know that like you know different desires that are placed on your heart might still be there even if you get you know caught up with your day-to-day -day life so in closing this is gonna be a long closing note because i'm gonna say my goals for next year um 2019 was was good a little bit it was it was kind of like a not like a, it was kind of like a baby roller coaster where you go up and then you kind of plateau a little bit and you do a little dip but but not too much of a dip um because i grew on my social media platforms um in such a positive way but i also like hit some plateaus <gasps> Ooh, excuse me i also hit some plateaus which i wasn't used to um, but it opened my eyes to see how if I were to be a full-time influencer creating content, how it could be as far as like your funds coming in and if you have a plateau season or if you dip down a little bit because people aren't watching your videos, da 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 It gave me insight on that. So I think everything I learned in 2019 is preparing me for things to come in future seasons um i met some phenomenal people this year i i said i didn't make no new relationships but i met some phenomenal people i, I feel like who else like no one else had the opportunity to meet these people um and you know start conversation with people of this caliber and it just, I feel like it's preparing me for the caliber of people that I'll be few, like meeting and greeting and chatting with in the future. And it's just helping like prepare my posture for how to be around these people. Um, and eventually becoming a person of, you know, high status caliber, all that stuff. Not saying that that's specifically like what I want like oh my god I want to be a high caliber individual I don't even know a specific definition for a high caliber individual but what I mean is basically like 
gone to the point where I'm having conversation with like Mongols and we're sharing with each other how to manage money, how to um, skyrocket your business, you know, just different business moves and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I got off on a tangent, but I love y'all so much. I hope y'all been enjoying Vlogmas. Spam the comments, like this video, subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And I will see y'all on Green Monday. Love y'all so much. And never forget, at the end of the day, without regrets, love yourself. And be you, Tipple. Bye, guys. I'm going to go shower now.